I'm Mark Donovan with Adventure Off-Road in Leoma, Tennessee. We have a lot of customers that ask us which is a better machine, the Country Clipper or the Exmar. Most people have never heard of a Country Clipper. Country Clipper's been around since 1984. It's a family-owned business. They're handmade and they're made in Iowa. Exmar has been around since 1982. They are owned by Toro, very big company, number one selling brand machine right here, okay? In our store, I actually have more people that choose a Country Clipper than choose an Exmar. I'm going to show you the differences between the two and you can make your own decision. Sometimes it's more important what you save and sometimes it's more important what you get. So I'll just show you the differences in the two machines. These are the two most comparable models, okay? This is the Exmar Quest S series. Now they also have the E series which is quite a bit less expensive, okay? This is the Boulevard from the Country Clipper and it, they also have a less expensive series called the Avenue. I chose two models because they're similar in equipment. This is a 54 inch deck. This is a 50 inch deck, okay? Xmark has a 24 and a half horsepower engine that they produce themselves, okay? The Xmark engine is a wonderful engine. Xmark has a vested interest in you being satisfied with your lawnmower. So if you have any issues, they're gonna take care of you. On the Country Clipper, they have a Kohler 23 horsepower. So there's a win for Xmark. It's got a little bit more horsepower and it's got an engine they make themselves. However, there's some differences between the two. On the Kohler, it has a heavy duty aluminized exhaust system. On the Xmark, it has an inexpensive steel pancake muffler. As far as the hydros, they both use a Hydrogear ZT2800, okay? Both Country Clipper and Xmark, same one, ZT28. On the Clipper, they have an expansion chamber. On the Xmark, they have a hose vent for it to expand. Just a little bit difference there in quality, okay? On the Xmark, they use a standard 190 cold cranking amp battery. On the X, on the Clipper, they all come standard with an interstate battery and it's 230 cranking amps. Let's take a look at the frames. On the Country Clipper, they give you a standard utility hitch and it's a fully boxed frame around the whole machine all the way up to the front. On the Xmark, they have an engine guard Country Clipper doesn't, but the engine guard actually connects the C-channel frame to the other side. And as you can see, it's spot welded. See how it's spot welded on both sides right here? It's just an angular frame. There's no question the, the Clipper has a much better frame. As far as the front casters, they're the same size. The rear tires on the Country Clipper is a 20 by 12 by 10. On the X mark, it's a 20 by 10 by 10, a little wider tire on the clipper. On the front casters, they're the same size. On the X mark, they use a sealed bearing. On the clipper, they also have a sealed bearing, but they have a grease zerk for the axles, one, on, one here and one there. On the decks, Country Clipper has an all welded steel deck. Again, this is a 54 inch steel cover on the top and this is how you release the tension on your belt. It's welded reinforced here, has casters in the back and in the front. On the X mark, has a spring loaded plastic cover and it's a combination reinforced fabricated deck with rollers only in the front. On the clipper, if you place your shoot up, which I know a lot of people like to do, it'll stay there. On the country clipper, the way you adjust the height of the deck is this mechanical mechanism here. It's tried and true, they've had it for many years. On the X mark, you might find it to be a little bit easier and a little bit more convenient, but you can actually set your deck height with your foot and an adjustment here. Xmark uses a twin stick system that most people are very familiar with on a zero turn. Tried and true. Have to adjust it from time to time and you're basically, you are controlling each wheel individually with the twin stick, okay? 
Country Clipper uses a single joystick on this model. The way that works is you rest your elbow on the armrest and you use your fingertips to steer it. Wherever direction you place the joystick, that's the direction it goes. When you want to stop, you put it neutral and you push it down that puts it in park. The benefits to a joystick over a twin stick is that when you apply power with a joystick, it's perfectly and mechanically removing the same amount of power from the other wheel. So it's less stress on your equipment. Heavy equipment like skid steers, bulldozers, they all use a joystick for that very reason. Okay. Some other um, significant differences between the two machines, they both have hour meters, so that's the same. They both have plastic fenders. Um, very similar as far as, far as the, the, the comfort of the seat, that's the same. On the X Mark, it has a 2.9 gallon tank, and you put your gas in up here at the top. On the Country Clipper, it has a five gallon tank, and you put your gas in right here, down low, so you don't have to pick your gas can up so high. The controls are very similar. Again, it just has an hour meter right there, just like on the, the X Mark, that's the same. Okay, there is a significant difference between the two machines in price. It's $1,200, okay? That's very significant. Yes, this has a higher top speed, seven and a half miles per hour, has a five gallon tank, has a fully uh, box frame, all welded steel deck, joystick, luminized exhaust, interstate battery. Those things do make up part of that $1,200 difference, but there's some other neat features that I think you'll really enjoy. One of them is the step in the rail, makes it really easy to get on. You don't have to stand on your deck, okay? But the best feature of all of the Country Clipper is we can stand the deck up in less than 60 seconds to make everything easily accessible. Watch. First thing we do is we put the deck in the lowest position. Lock the parking brake. Raise the step. Release the tension on the belt. Take the belt off the pulley. And stand her up. Oh, forgetting one thing. You gotta put the tires in this position. And then now we can stand the deck up. Easy to access both your hydros for servicing. Your blades. Xmark is a tried and true brand. They've been around for quite some time. They're owned by Toro now. Can't go wrong with them. And, you're, and it's $1,200 less. Country Clipper, another great brand. Been around since 1984, handmade. Lots of upgraded features. It's your choice. It's our job to give you the information, let you make a good decision. Thanks for watching our video.